Yo, yo, Leute. Was <lacht> geht <laughs> Hello, good morning, guys. <laughs> we uh, have our coffee today. So today we're going to show you guys what we eat uh, in an interval day and generally on a training day and uh, a whole day of nutrition and eating, I guess. So come along uh, and uh, yeah, watch us do our shit. <laughs> yeah. Are you on a diet plan or you just do it yeah. after feelings? Yeah, today we're making eggs and toast and stuff. I'm not really on like a diet plan and the team, um, yeah, we don't, I don't talk to a dietitian or anything. But I think I kind of know what I'm doing, like I've worked with a dietitian before and stuff. Yeah, I normally go a feeling and I know, you know, like, which you kind of know like some basics of how many, like with carbohydrates, how many grams, how many grams basically you need for training or what you can like kind of work out and calculate what you need and stuff I guess so today I'm only doing two hours of endurance so I'm gonna have maybe four slices of toast which will be maybe around 40 to 60 grams of carbohydrates so yeah that should be enough for the training and then I'll eat on the bike and then after maybe 60 grams to 80 after the bike so yeah training can we learn all these things like um with food and that so that's another valuable thing about our training camps is that we can learn all these things and then we try and take them, take all these lessons back when we come home uh, about diet and stuff. Because in training camp, you know, we all know how much food we're eating and and how much content are in the food and that. So I personally like to go after some uh, ricotta cheese. Like as base, then I take an avocado and then I use the eggs Alex made. So that's like my breakfast for the day. Uh, maybe we're gonna have some oats later because I have intervals planned today. Alex not, so I need to fill in a bit more. And I'm gonna show you what I eat then. So that's how my breakfast looks. I put avocado on here with the cheese, uh, with the ricotta cheese. In German we say frisch Käse. And the eggs I put now on top and then let's see how it tastes but should be good. It's like my favorite breakfast of all time. At home I always have this often. But uh, yeah, avocado has a lot of healthy fat in it. So that's also good. And then with the eggs and the ricotta cheese we also have some proteins in it. So that's a good healthy breakfast to start the day. I'll put, I'll put like jam on my toast so I reckon it's pretty late. Um, but... I like it too, mate. Yeah, okay. Well, some people don't like it. They think it's a bit, a bit strange. The Nutella mm? is the most important in the house. Exactly, mate. This gets smashed quite a bit. Uh, just, you know, for like a little dessert, we have a bit of, I'm having a bit of Nutella after my, uh, of my toast, so I'm pretty happy with it. The Nutella bread, because I have half of the bread left. So, yeah. And we also want to be honest about what we eat, so yeah, exactly. We show everything and not just making mm. a professional food vlog where you think we eat not enough. Yeah, enough. exactly. That's right. Yeah, the most important thing is that you always eat enough. Yeah. And then you get the, the fuel in, because otherwise you can't train. So, like, that's the number one basic thing you need to need to worry about. You know. I went for uh, oats for you. I measured it with the scale. Uh, I put some milk in it. I normally don't measure it. I just go after feelings. But yeah, I'm gonna fill up because I have intervals, so then should be good to go. So the plan for today is um, getting two hours down with intervals. In total, 90 grams per in total and 45 grams per hour. So I put in here. Now two and a half scoops of ISO, it's now around 30 grams and there I put three scoops of ISO so I'm gonna have 40 in here and that means I have 70 in total. I'm gonna take one gel. In this we have on 60 grams of gel we have 28 grams of carbs. That means I'm gonna hit 90 with that easily. Um, but. I'm also going to have a banana with me so that I can have one after the intervals and then I should be good fueled. That means I'm going to have like around 110 to 120, depends on how much I drink. 
uh, of grams per hour from 90 blend. So, first thing all is done. Sun is out. I also have short. I put on my leg warmers. I put off. And now I'm gonna take the gel with. So this is the second in the water. I've just done an hour and a half ride and I'm bonking already. I did not have enough carbohydrates for breakfast. So now I eat ice cream and uh, Fanta and maybe this can be enough. Oh my God. <laughs> I ate one of Henry's bananas. Uh, what happens to, huh? That's how you be professional, mate. No. It can happen everywhere. Happens everywhere. The calculations were off today. You were nervous. Yeah. For the video, that's why you didn't eat enough. Yeah. Because you're thinking mm. you need to take more in that they don't think uh, you need to take less in that they think uh. you eat healthy. Uh. <laughs> but actually, this isn't the case, man. No. <laughs> Calculations are off. So normally, I'd also take like to take some recovery with a recovery shake. Um, there are like 30 grams of proteins in it, but today I don't feel like. I don't uh, that I need it. I think we can have it also some good proteins and a good dinner and a good lunch. I mean, I'm sorry. And let's see, yeah, maybe then afterwards a nice coffee and then we can see what's for dinner. Why do cyclists eat directly after the training? Uh, well, after you've been training, you know, you've used a lot of energy, used up probably a lot of the carbs stored in your muscles and, and things like that. So it's important to refill the energy stores you know like alex here he's looking like he really needs to refill the energy stores you know oh I see him. this, mate, this boy Michelle. this boy needs this boy needs to be eating that right now you know yeah. otherwise he's he's gonna lose all function of his muscles so. i was like really well after all i was really light on the scale so it means that like I did not have any like yeah, carbohydrates in my body, so I fucking that's why I got a hunger flat like an hour and a half into the ride, and that's why I needed to eat one of Henry's bananas. I need some sugar, bruh. That's what I need, sugar. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make up a really lots of pasta, and then I'm gonna have like some salmon and some salad. So it's gonna be really big feeds. So because I want to feel good tomorrow, but this is a quite common thing if you feel really low and you can't push power and stuff. Your heart rate's really low sometimes it's just because you haven't got enough uh, carbohydrates in your body, you know, so. All right, this is what we're making for uh, for lunch. We've got a salad here. Put some shit in it. So, so today is another day for Henry Ullick to uh, do some coffee tasting. I've taken him to Hidden, which is one of the nice cafes in Girona. I ordered uh, a Nutella cookie too, which is quite nice. Nice little afternoon snack. Um, we'll share it and he can, he can taste it. So I'm interested to see if he likes this one or not. And um, you've got to let the boss, got to let the big Ulik decide what is the best cap, best coffee in Girona. got to get his opinion. I think so far his favourite's been in La Fabrica, but now it might change, who knows. So I've taken Henry to uh, Bartoli's, which is a really nice pizza place in Girona. I think it's the best pizza place to, to eat out here. 
Yeah, it's really nice actually. Um, they've got some really nice pizzas. It's, it's all been done in Italy. Like they use the same techniques and stuff. But it's quite special. Uh, my pizza I order at the Avola. And this one they actually put on fire. So it's actually really fancy too. So quite a nice way to have a good dinner. Lots of carbs, and so I could start. Because from today, I was really depleted, and I, I uh, ended myself. So I need to fill up again, and then I can do a good four-hour ride tomorrow. So yeah. this is a perfect uh, dinner, perfect dinner for that. It'll be good. Yeah. yeah. So it's actually the first time eating out tonight. And we've been here for a week, and this is our first time uh, out eating. So. I thought, yeah, nice Sunday night would be good to take Henry out to eat. Most nights we would be make dinner. We would like be we have been making dinner and stuff because it's a bit cheaper and you can like, yeah, it's quite easy to make food and stuff. And I like been trying to practice some my cooking and stuff. So um, yeah, this is a good way to celebrate a nice, a good day and a good, good first week of training. So so that's also gonna be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed our nutritionist day. Uh, there were some mistakes going on, but we are also just beginners, so don't judge us. And if you have questions about nutrition and stuff, how about we deal with in the day or further video ideas, just write down a comment and then you can like and subscribe. See you in the next video. See you soon.